don't think it's even particularly controversial anymore to say that American healthcare companies, along with companies like Virgin and product firms like Capita, have basically tried to monetize the most um, profitable parts of the NHS yeah. and the services that um, were offered uh, in the parts of the NHS that were most difficult to uh, make a profit out of have started to suffer chronically from lack of funding. We should be treating our vital NHS staff so much better. Um, we're also seeing reorganisation, of course, uh, in my local council. My council is one of the ones that have defied the rulings to keep the, the new plans secret. They've, they've been helping to break that. Um, but it is outrageous that we should be reorganising our NHS, you know, in secret plans conducted between behind closed doors. Uh, people need full transparency, a full say, and people, I think, may made a good effort in the, local, in the general election at saying they wanted better funding for the NHS as well and I think we will win that battle in the end. I think it's ideological, you know, shrinking the state has always been something that has been part of an agenda of uh, private uh, being more efficient than public. Um, but also you've got to start looking at the money trails and who, uh, for instance, Tory cabinet members, whose family members directly or indirectly actually work with, um, you know, uh, private health care. Um, what you about know, Simon Stevens, uh, 10 years at United Health? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, that's only one of many, many examples. Um, you know, before Jeremy Hunt, you know, we had uh, an, another deeply, deeply unpopular health secretary whose wife worked in the healthcare, the private healthcare system. Is it economic incompetence or deliberate way to sabotage the welfare state? It's an it's a, it's a economic philosophy that wants to make the state as small as possible. I think ultimately the Tories would like to see us in an American-style system where we all pay, and if we can't pay, we can just go to the wall. And that's not the British way, it's not why we set up the NHS, and I think they've made a huge mistake by taking people on like this. These are really, really simple, simple idea here. It's getting dangerous. You can't get more for less. No. You can't ask people to work longer hours, to uh, provide the same level of service with less funding. It simply makes no sense. It doesn't make sense and I, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it on a daily basis in yeah, terms of what, sure. what I can offer to the patient. You know, the hospitals don't have the beds to admit patients. I'm sure that's absolutely horrendous. But do you horrendous. think this running down is part of the reputational destruction and damage that they need to persuade us to go to the insurance system? Yeah, I think absolutely. I mean, if you, it, it's, a, it's a very well-known sort of narrative, you know, defund, uh, uh, deregulate. Uh, create a sense of chaos within the system and and then hopefully you know the public will is there to privatize yeah well um it's terrific bumping into you again it's lovely to see you and too thank you very much for your time pleasure Keep thanks a lot Keep up your good you better have a selfie all three of us all right yes.